There's so many infill options, each one with a unique function and aesthetics. I've printed this cool infill coaster set from our ABS Prime to show you the differences. Cubic creates cubes inside your model, which can create air pockets that serve as heat insulation or can make your object float in water. Grid is one of the fastest types of infill. Be careful because the material gets accumulated at crossings, which is why I don't recommend using it at all. Similar to the grid infill, triangles cross paths in one layer. The only difference is it makes a stronger triangle structure. Concentric infill is mostly used for flexible models, like RC tires, for example. Rectilinear is a 2D grid of lines where only one axis is printed per layer. This reduces filament use and printing time while improving strength. Line doesn't cross any paths in one layer and is similar to rectilinear for material consumption and printing time. Trihexagon will print triangles and hexagons in the same layer, which compared to grid infill reduces the crossings. Gyroid is one of the best infills you can use. It is one of the few 3D structures that provide great support in every direction. It's also fast, saves material, doesn't cross itself at one layer and looks awesome. The shape it creates allows for water or resin to get into every part of it, making it the perfect infill if you plan on dissolving it with water. Lightning uses just enough filament to reliably bridge the solid top layers. It's also the fastest and least material consuming infill of the bunch. Unlike simple cubic infill, adaptive cubic infill gets automatically more or less dense depending on the distance to the nearest wall, leaving large cavities in the middle. This reduces printing times and lowers filament consumption, while maintaining good support for top layers and has similar mechanical properties as the cubic infill. Archimedean quartz is another infill that is easily filled with liquids. Similar to the concentric infill, the Archimedean quartz help with model flexibility if you print it with flexible filaments. Aligned rectilinear infill saves printing time and it doesn't accumulate material at crossings. Just make sure that the first top layers aren't aligned with it because it will cause trouble bridging. 3D honeycomb prints bigger and smaller squares and octagons to create columns of periodically increasing and decreasing thickness. Due to the way it lays down the paths, it creates small gaps between layers. The Hilbert curve creates a cool looking rectangular labyrinth inside the model. The main advantage is its non-traditional look, plus it can easily be filled with epoxy resin or another liquid. Octagram spiral is mostly used for aesthetic purposes and it's also easily filled up with liquids. Support cubic infill gets automatically denser depending on the distance to the nearest top layer in order to save filament and reduce printing time. Honeycomb is a grid made of of hexagons which don't cross paths and have optimal mechanical resistance. It does use up more material though and the last one on the list is called cross hatch and it's engineered for speed and quiet printing having zero line intersections. Happy printing everyone!